Hello everyone, I'm Cherry Lau, a final year student in Essex Hall College. I'm going to share with you my story of voluntary teaching in Shantou. Since 2014, I have been working on a voluntary teaching program in Shantou. In these four years, my team and I visit a local primary school in Shantou every summer, teaching the students English. What makes it so special? As most of the children there were leftover kids in Chinese, the Man Gong Zidai. Their parents had to work all day long, even in the holiday, leaving no time to take care of them. What further complicated the issue was that most of the children were deprived of chances to join interest groups or have entertainment in summertime. With a mission to teach them English in a fun way and vitalize their summer, in every visit we prepared lots of special games to play with them and brush up their English skills at the same time. Let me show you what I have done in this project with a daily vlog. These were the temporary classrooms we used in the summer. They were situated in industrial area, convenient for parents to pick their kids up after class. These were the game materials we brought from Hong Kong and lunch boxes we had. After lunch, I had meetings with my teammates to discuss the games and programs for the coming weekdays. An interesting difference between the mainland and Hong Kong was that we had dinner very early here, at around 6 o'clock as the shops and restaurants would close much more earlier than Hong Kong's. So now it is day two. After settling down in the first day, we had much more time today for the morning exercises, teaching, and in-class activities. Without an air conditioner, the only ventilator we had was a fan, and the room was still so stuffy. In the afternoon, we played some board games and watched several education videos. They were so fascinated as they didn't have these things to learn with in their everyday classes. It may be because of financial difficulties or because of the teaching style in China. On the third day, we taught them folk songs with body movements, which had made studying English way more enjoyable and easy for them. And as you may notice, my teammates and I were preparing game materials for the coming weekend during lunchtime. After lunch, it was my turn to teach them drawing. We had a theme, the four seasons. So I taught them the representative elements for each season, and I was demonstrating how to put them all in drawing, together with a few English phrases they had learned that morning. Many of them didn't have chance and resource to use the various kinds of drawing tools, so I taught them how to make good use of different kinds of coloring pens. So this was already first day. I was sitting here as I was responsible for preparing the game stores and also in video. The principal of that school and some sponsors asked me to make a weekly vlog, which was to be played in a closing ceremony. In the afternoon, it was class and craft session. I explained and demonstrated how to craft a model with paperboard and old clothing. And I was teaching them to write a few lines of descriptions with seasonal elements again for the models. And these were the masterpieces. So creative and adorable. And this was me burning the midnight oil for editing the video, until dawn. The last day was approaching. The students came to me asking for drawings or signatures. They told me they had missed me a lot since the last summer, so we exchanged our signatures so that we would not forget each other, and as a promise that we were going to meet again in the coming years. I was so touched at that moment. Looking back four years ago, the kids were just toddlers, but then they had grown a lot becoming more mature and some of them were even taller than me. And it happened in just a few years. Some girls were still wearing braces I made for them some years ago, and I was deeply touched. But at the same time, I started to be a bit worried that I couldn't recognize their face two years later. That's why I was a bit emotional at that moment. That day was the Chinese Valentine's Day, and it was my lunar birthday too. It surprised me with birthday songs and flowers. I was so grateful for all the things they did. The last day arrived. I believe that it was an extraordinary learning experience to them. And to us, we had our unparalleled happy moments. This four-year journey is a unique and fruitful one, in which I have developed a new way to consider what is give and take. The smiles in contentment provoked my thoughts and reflections on the general meaning of cherishing what we have in our life. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that the innocent children faces and minds have moved you and remind us, no matter how hard our life hits us, we always have the treasurable moments to cherish.